What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero. Welcome back to the Let's Play Portal 2 Blind. In the last episode, we made our way through at least the very first of these testing chambers. We survived it, at least for the time being. I'm sure we've been exposed to plenty of chemicals and rays and whatever it may be that are going to kill us many a years earlier than we would have either or otherwise, uh, you know, many years from now. But nevertheless, we went back to a lobby of sorts. The music is awfully ominous. Thank you for your participation. Is that my participation trophy? Is this Mr. Johnson? Cave Johnson. Definitely don't see him in the, the same positive light I did, you know, walking into the building. I figured as much. Alright. Uh, how do we get out? If I can't portal that. That looks awfully portalable. The question is, where can I fire my other portal? I doubt it's in here. I doubt it incorrectly, guys. <laughs> Alright, so in here we go. Through this door, maybe? Nice. What is going on in here? Beta? I do remember the, the blue rooms from before were alpha. Pump station beta. Anything we can interact with over here? Doesn't doesn't look like it. That's clearly a portalable wall. The question is, where do we want to set up the other portal? Up there, maybe? We certainly can. I feel like that's going to be a more productive... Huh? Hello? There we go. A more productive portal to set up. Because I don't imagine we'll be able to make it out of here. I also don't think we're in a segment of the building where I need to be looking out for something like hideouts because this old testing facility is before it was potentially overrun by something like GLaDOS. I must say Gradius for some reason. Can we go in there? No. Nope, can't go in there too. We're supposed to make our way in there somehow? Are we even gonna like fling ourselves through the glass? Is that what's about to happen? I feel like that might be the case, actually. The question is, how do we do it? So clearly we need to drop ourselves down this portal. I feel like what I need to do is fire one portal like this. Let's see if we can angle this a little bit better. Fall through that, fly up here, shoot the blue portal up there, and then fling ourselves that way. Let's give it a go. Alright, blue portal, and I can orient myself to actually see what was going on, but we made it, so we'll, uh, we take those. Let's see what's going on in here. Anything of interest? Telephone? I'm so sad I can't bring up a radio around with me like I did in the first game. Do we want to mess around with these? Gel pressure? We're going full force. I don't know why. But we are. Maybe it'll be helpful in the future. On a higher up level, I guess. And it looks like we can head out. Now the menacing music returns. I wonder if stuff like that... I wonder if there are multiple endings. I doubt it. I bet there's like one uniform ending. But I feel like a decision like that could make a pretty big impact on future puzzle solving or, you know, places we can go, etc. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. Missing astronauts? One of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might <laughs> ask yourself, Cave... Black Mesa, gotta love it. Tests. What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who, Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also <laughs> feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. Ooh. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. Mr. Johnson, you're losing a lot of respect real fast. So he's paying a ridiculously low amount of money to, for the risk that these people are taking on because he's taking advantage of a vulnerable population. Homeless people. Yikes. 
Mr. Johnson. We're going to see uh, Mr. Johnson throughout the ages. So here's the test subject waiting area. Anything of interest? Just showing them with money. $60. I mean, for what it's worth, $60 was more than it, it was worth more in 1950s or however long ago this was than it is now. But, but even then, certainly not worth the risk that they're going through with these tests. So, anything else of interest in here? Remember, alert your supervisor if you see OSHA, um, Inspector, Department of Energy Inspector, GAO Accountant, Undercover Police Officer, Nuclear Regulatory Commissioner. Wow. Dang. So they were really trying to go under, under the table with all of this research. Not a fan, Mr. Johnson, not a fan. Ooh, what was that? That lag. Okay, looks like we probably need to head up there. Yep, sure enough. Question is... Oh, wait, this is a portable surface. Actually, this will be more fun. Woo! Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 that's not what I want to do. No! <laughs> oh, this will be fun. Famous last words. <laughs> that was... That was pretty funny. I, I'm sure you guys got a kick out of that. <laughs> oh man. Alright, we'll do it the normal way this time around. <laughs> of course I place it just in such a way that I... Yep, yep. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir. Bankrupt. Right. Interesting. Now, they went out of money. Phone book of a contract. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best. And you're it. Oh. Nope. nope. I missed. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. Dang. Also, I see some potential for a for an Easter egg or something. So we're gonna we're gonna try that. Oh no, did I do it again? I almost I thought I did it again. Uh, where is that? That's there. Let's go with like right. How about there? Let's explore over here. Bird? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Was it taking care of GLaDOS like an egg? Certainly sounds better than the current situation, but <laughs> some scheming. What's up with the button there? Yikes. Alright, so it looks like I'm holding on to GLaDOS as we continue. Again, I feel like that was optional, right? So it, it's somewhat... I don't know, it's kind of weird to think that that's, it's possible to completely miss that. So we'll go as high up as we can there. And I guess I can maybe get a bit more momentum if I go through here and then fire another portal here. We can give it a go. Because I don't feel like... oh. No, that extra momentum was simply not necessary. No need to overcomplicate it for myself, potentially end up 
dying again like I did that one time. That would have been funny. I almost accidentally solved the puzzle, but I ended up dying instead. Simply because I thought it would be more fun. The reunion. Oh boy. The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Another Hi, testing Dr. area? Are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, sir, Mr. Johnson. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? Huh? Whoa, so GLaDOS, in response to hearing Mr. Johnson's voice recording, responded in the exact same way Carolyn did. It almost makes you think that... Carolyn was like her consciousness or whatever it may be, was used as a basis for GLaDOS, or they were trained in the same way, or something like that. There's a lot of speculation that could be done, obviously. So, first things first, we need that. And um, we're gonna need it, so that we can angle that appropriately. Hmm. So, we're gonna wanna drop up there, so we can get, get a little bit more of a perspective. Whoa. Uh, so, from up here, we can hit this button. And that should drop... Oh, this is more of the propulsion gel or whatever. So maybe I want to pour it along the track or something like that? Is it... How is it different, though, is the question. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it increases our speed. I was going to say, it doesn't feel like anything else. Ooh, I bet this is really helpful for, like, speed runs and stuff. Okay, so... First things first, I need to get something to increase the angle. Whoa. And here we go. Ooh, that was pretty cool. That was fun. Um, so we can obviously set up a portal there. We gotta make our way over there. Ah, I see. So we're gonna have to set up a portal there. And make our way back over here. Yes. And then once over here... Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna have to... Well, I obviously have to get the orange gel over there. The question is... How? I feel like what I'll have to do is... Because I have to get up there, obviously, right? Oh, wait. I can just do this. Here we go. So that should do the trick. Oh man, after moving so fast with all of this, I um, I don't know if I'll get used to normal speeds of Portal again. Cool. So clearly that's where we need to get our block. Unfortunately, the... Uh, the circle, circle there isn't going to let us do that very easily. So we'll come out this way. Again, um, we have our blue one there, so we'll probably want to fire the orange one over there. Head back over here. And then again, we have the orange one there, so we'll fire the blue one over there. And we're back over. So where is the lever again? Over here. Or all right, and so we've solved this first test area. Or so it seems. Oh, did I miss the jump by a little bit? I did. <laughs> Darn. All right, we're going to have to head back over then. And take two. All right, we're going to start all the way from all the way back here. A little bit as much speed as we can and jump. Oh, darn, still not enough. I wonder if I need to do something a bit different. I've got an idea. Let's see here. I'm gonna put the, the blue portal like right there. And that way I can start running over here. And then go through after having already built up this speed. There we go. Cool. So do not leave your belongings here. Loiter for more than 20 minutes. Touch the glass. Wear a shirt and sh do wear a shirt and shoes at all times. Move quickly through your test track. Not forget to not touch the glass. <laughs> I guess that's pretty important. All right. So we gotta launch ourselves up there, presumably for this button. Of 
question is, how do we want to do so? I think we're going to have to go through here and then come up this ramp and turn around and launch ourselves up with the speed we can gain from running this way. And button. Nice. By force, it seems. Alright, so here's our next setup, it seems. What do we have going on here? So we have the blue gel. And we have the orange gel. I wonder if I can mix them. That would be interesting. <laughs> Ooh... You know what this reminds me of? Lava lamps. <laughs> Who knew Portal 2 I'd be making my own lava lamp. Well, that's really cool. Are the different like propulsion gels like propelling each other and keeping them afloat? That's that's actually really cool. All right. Um so what we've got to do is figure out how to get over there obviously. Now, how how do, right? <laughs> There's no portable surface or surface over there. Obviously, we need to use this surface. Um, yeah, that totally was the case. That's really funny. They were going up and then going back down, but they weren't losing any, I don't know, fall speed, it seems. Hmm. So, all I can think of is I can use these side surfaces here to cover this middle area with something but I still don't know I guess I if I use the blue portal stuff or the blue repulsion gel I can create a platform where I can jump up and then potentially jump through this portal all over there that's all I can really think of at the moment so let's give it a go all right that's a little bit too high Not exactly what I had in mind, but... Um... I could try it again, I guess. Maybe putting some over there. Hmm... It's gotta be a better way of going about it. Maybe if I launch it from all the way over there? I doubt it'll make it over, though. Seems I was wrong. <laughs> So, I could use that to make the propulsion gel. I feel like, yeah, I don't know if this is the way, to, the best way to go about it, but we'll see if I can actually even make this jump in the first place. Oh my. That was an interesting bouncing experience. Almost, but not quite. I'm tempted to try one more time. Oh, I feel like if I got one more bounce in there. Alright, well, regardless, I think the, the point is that we're supposed to be able to get the other gel, so... We'll move that there. And we can hit this, and that should cover that with the, like, sort of runway gel. Let's see if we can use this. I don't know if we have the angle for it. We do not have the angle for it. Is that the first time we've fallen in this water? As a death? I feel like it is. At least they, you know, reboot everything a bit quicker than they do in the first game. Alright. Oh, I didn't even see that up there. Okay. So that, that makes things a lot more apparent. So what we're going to do is build up a nice runway here. And then we're going to create a little launch pad by using the blue gel from over there. Alright, so that's all good. So next up we're going to do that. And that, whoa, that was a lot quicker than I had anticipated. And now we are good to go. We have our runway and we have our launch pad. Oh my. I probably should have set up a portal there. I'm probably dead now. Oh, no, I'll be alright. But I probably could have done that a little bit, done this part a little bit more quickly had I recognized I'd be going to specifically this height. That's okay, though. Um, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I think what I need to do instead is I, I do need to actually make use of that portal. 
So we can do that. Um, and then where are we firing the next one? Hmm. I feel like I need to launch myself out of this bottom one here, but I obviously can't see it from here. I don't know. Where is my other portal set to? Do I even see it? Oh, it's up there. Okay. Yeah, um... I think it could be... With the, with the current setup, it could be pretty funny. I could end up just getting flung back here. I kind of want to see how this works out. Boing! Aw, oh, I thought I'd go, like, back out. That'd be pretty funny. So... Let's see here. Is there a way to get up higher? What? I didn't realize I was moving forward. <laughs> My bad. I feel like if we recreate it... Well, no. That's not gonna happen. Oh, I'm over here. Interesting. I guess we can take a look over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly confident I need to... Oh, I can fling myself from up there. So, what do I need to do? I need to use this launch, this runway, to fling myself up here. And I need, so I need to have a portal here, and I need to have a portal up there. But how... If I set up portals up there... How do I end up over there? I know how. My bad, guys. We'll go up here, and that way we can use our blue portal, I don't know, somewhere like there. And that way we can head back, but we can now shoot the portal, the blue portal, there. Cool. So that, that should do it, guys. Away we go! Nice. I believe it, GLaDOS. I wouldn't be surprised if Mr. Johnson was the guy who programmed you initially. And then, you know, things got a little bit out of hand with your... Well, we, we heard from Portal 1, right? <laughs> Ooh, different load screen. I think, at least. More tests. This is called the reunion. I'm pretty sure it's with uh, GLaDOS. I was optimistic it would be with Wheatley, but... Flag down a test associate and let him know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new. Good as new. <laughs> That's rather invasive for a mere $60. So this keeps coming out. The question, let, let's survey the land a little bit first and see where we actually need all of this stuff to go. Um, I'll take it this is the, the runway. <laughs> so we're probably going to need to fire up some orange repulsion gel over there. Why, do, why are those walls over there? And where's the end point, right? So I definitely need to bring something over there. But what? I don't see any blocks or anything I can bring over just yet. No? No, I don't think so. All right, so we gotta find him, presumably behind that wall. So let's let's take a look there first. Do a little bit of exploration. Well, that was not correct. <laughs> so what's the point in coming over here? It's gotta do something with the visibility of different portals, if it's useful, I guess. Let's check out this area here. So there's this glass door here. Can we fire portals through it? We can. 
So what's the point? It's probably to stop our momentum in a particular direction. What happens if I stand on here? Interesting, the platform changes like that. So I'm fairly confident what we need to do is use this surface here to put a particular repulsion gel on here and then find a way to turn this so that we can use it as a platform to bounce heck, I don't know, I don't know, somewhere. Up there, maybe? Yeah, probably. Where would we be coming from? Somewhere up there. I don't know. Let's see if we can uh, find out more about that area over there. Yeah, we definitely need to bounce off of that platform. So I guess for the time being, because I'm fairly confident we need to do that. Let's do that. Oh, did it like just dry up? And let's figure out how we get up over there. We can, oh, we can explore it. Yeah, I'm going to need to create a little bit of a runway for myself. Oh, so it looks like I won't even probably have to use a lot of this. Um, so I'll make a runway for myself with the orange gel there. Transport myself over there with that. And then... Um, oh, or... Actually, no, I just want to use the runway. I can teleport myself over, create a portal there and there, run and then jump, and then use that to bounce all the way over there. There's what I need for um, to keep that switch activated. The question is, how do I get up there? I'm not sure. Either way, that, that surface is plenty painted now. Thank you very much. So we're just going to do that in the meantime. Let's, uh, let's explore this area and see what we can find over here. Anything of interest up here? No? Okay. I'm curious as to why there are two of these. I feel like this one's angle makes it so that it's going to launch me at that platform. So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to set up a portal here to fire blue propulsion gel so that we can then bounce over. Um, so let's do that. We fire the blue one there. Get some propulsion gel going. No. There we go. We gotta wait patiently. Let's see, it should splatter this platform. Yeah. Cool. Um, just to make sure it really copiously gets all of it, we'll change the height of it a little bit. Oh no, it's pretty set. Ah, we got ourselves. Okay, so now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to want to do is fill all of that up with the runway. So then we can use the runway to launch ourselves on this platform, go over here, pick up the cube, bring the cube over there, get the lever, or the switch, turn that platform up, and then we can fire a portal there, use this runway to launch ourselves off here, bounce over there. Alright, I, the, uh, I think that's the intended route. So let's do this. We'll get ourselves going over here. Fire the next portal up here. And hope for the best. Boing. And we made it. Cool. So the next thing I'm going to want to do is find a place that's safe to drop off of. Cool. That looks like a relatively safe spot. So we will drop down over here. And, I don't know, we can just fire that portal there. We have obtained the cube, guys. We have our orange portal there. Let's just do that. Alright. So now that should be good. And then the only other thing I'm a little bit concerned about is how do I fire this blue portal up there? while making my way over here, right? Because I need to have a portal over here. Hmm. Once I'm up there, can I fire a portal? Let's see. Like, will I be able to see this? I will. Okay, nice. So we're good. So if I have this portal here, all I need to do is fire a portal there. And I think we're all set to go, guys. Let's give it a try and see if it works. Here we go. Boing, and we're clear. Whoa. 
some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. <laughs> Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble, disassemble you. you. Banging rocks together here, we know how to put a man back together. So, oh, really now? Complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. <laughs> tumors, you guys put in us in the, or, you know, grew in us in the first place? Dang, that's, uh... Oh, Mr. Johnson. Oh, Mr. Johnson. I can see why any super, you know, human AI or computer, highly intelligent AI developed by someone like Mr. Johnson would, well, have the morals or ethics of GLaDOS from what we've seen this far. your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing. You've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. Don't sound too enthused. any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt? Huh. What do these people, man? I, I hate how he talks about homeless people like that. That that really gets me. Um, so it sounds like... Thank you for not loitering longer than 20 minutes. We made it through the second testing facility from how Mr. Johnson was talking. So elevator to service, surface, dang. All forms must be filled out legibly and completely before eligible to receive payment of $60. Again, another way to discriminate against the homeless people if they're not literate. We have ourselves a potential portal-able surface up there. What's going on over here? Pump station Gamma. We've, so we've already seen Alpha and we've already seen Beta. We're heading over to Gamma next up there all right sounds fine by me however yeah you are her Oof. That's rough. Yeah, I feel like GLaDOS is Carolyn. To an extent. Interesting. I mean, Carolyn didn't seem like the most intelligent, so I wouldn't be surprised if she were taken advantage of by someone like Mr. Johnson. Anything to do in here? I guess we'll get all the gel going. Pump Station Gamma. Oh. Well, that's not the most endearing uh, walkway. So we've got plenty of that propulsion fluid. Is this gel gamma? I'm not noticing anything different. Um, where am I supposed to go? Up here? If the exit is up there... Is this portalable? It is. I feel like that's what the gamma gel does. It makes a surface portalable. Um, cool. So now that we've done that, again, we need to get over that way, right? Bombs away! Boing! Oh no, I didn't give myself enough momentum. We'll try that again. Except, be a little bit more daring this time around. By holding the, uh, the forward key. Cool. Um, oh man. Am I, there's no way I'm gonna be able to portal through here? Woof. Be able to speed through. My new boss is a robot, but do you know robots are smarter than you? Work harder than you? Robots are better than you? Volunteer for testing today. Dang. Carla the Complainer. <laughs> what a, what a name. Oh, that's right, because you're a potato. Good for him. All right, back to thinking. <laughs> so, we've made it over here. The question is, from here what, right? I think we need to make our way over there, but we're only going to be doing that if we are able to launch ourselves. So, I think what I need to do is 
run at that portal as fast as I can and launch myself that way. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. You don't seem to be doing so, huh, Mr. This Johnson? This test participation mandatory for all employees. The quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. Dang, mandatory <laughs> testing. You may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. The bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're gonna see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Dang. So Mr. Johnson is finally at the end of his career, per se, given he's lethally ill from this poison. And mandatory test testing on all employees. Yikes. This, yeah, I, I'm not a fan of this, Mr. Johnson. Regardless, know your paradoxes. In the event of rogue AI, stand still, remain calm, scream. This statement is false. New mission. Refuse this, this mission. Does a set of all sets contain itself? Oh, I, I appreciate that, Russell's paradox. One of the OGs. So I'm curious... We probably can't go this way. No. Okay. So we are going to head down this way. Mr. Johnson in his final years has certainly looked like he's uh, been worn down over time. And again, nothing over here. No. Okay. What's going on here? Push the button. Are we timed or something? I don't know. Warning, please do not test if you are allergic to lunar sediment and or starch. You have fulfilled your monthly test self-election quota. You are confident enough in your work performance to unvolunteer from the test self-election process. Dang. This last statement is like, basically, if we could afford to lose you, please don't test because it's likely. That's, uh, that's rough. I'm curious. I feel like we're, we're expecting Mr. Johnson to, you know, die, right? And we're going to get to some point in the story where it's like... Oh, yeah, like, Mr. Johnson finally passes away, etc. But we're going to find out that instead he had himself live on in some sort of AI. He, like, fused his intellect or personality with that of Carolyn or something like that and lives on as GLaDOS, unethically testing for the rest of his pseudo-life. So now we've got ourselves a test with some Gamma. It's our first time testing with the Gamma Repulsion Gel. So I don't know exactly how it's going to go, but obviously we can make some portals with this. I um, I think, though, we're going to be testing our, our ability to work with them in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's, it's sad. It's pretty dark learning about the history behind Aperture Science and Mr. Johnson and the testing and how... And, and I'm curious to see how it's going to connect to everything that, well, we saw in Portal 1. And we're experiencing now with Wheatley and GLaDOS and, you know, the facility that's higher up, closer to the surface. But, anyways, until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.